Welcome to the Sports Card Talk Show. To the Sports Card Talk the Show. Sports Card Talk Show with Kevin Anderson and Lauren Walker, the, the Skull, Skull Brothers. Brothers. All right, welcome to the Sports Card Talk Show. Uh, this is episode 156, uh, Friday Night Light interview. Yeah. Um, I guess we're doing this a little bit differently because we already shot the interview. Yeah. Last week got pretty crazy, but uh, I want you to tell them who came on, and then we're just going to kind of talk about last week a little bit. We had Silver Sport come on. On the channel, that's uh, capital S L V R yeah. Sport. You can yeah. find find a link to their to the channel in in the description. And uh, yeah, Chuck and Ed were <laughs> are were just a blast to, to visit were. with. Um, are we gonna do a little ringling ding dong once we <laughs> once we get there? I <laughs> suppose we, yeah. we gotta do it. We okay. gotta do it. So last week, and I'm and I'm. I'm just going to kind of go with it. Um, and I think that you're in agreement. Yeah, um, definitely. Last week was really disappointing. I'm not going to lie. Um, we kind of figured that we would spike in subs and lose a few, but you know, we dropped below back below 900. We gave away I, I, what I thought was pretty awesome stuff. And uh, basically what it's done is it's made us decide that, that there are no more live giveaways. Um, they will be embedded within the videos. You have to find them. You have to respond properly. And uh, that's the only way that we're going to do giveaways from here on out. Yeah. 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 I, I know. I still, you know, um, it left such a bitter taste in my mouth. It was super upsetting. Um, and and uh, it was exciting at, at while it was happening. And we, we assumed we'd lose a few, but to drop all the, you know, gain almost like 50 subs and then lose almost all of them was, was was not good and you know it's i don't know it's just crazy crazy that people would do that honestly yeah yeah um and i guess that's we were being a little bit foolish i mean like i said i i think we knew we were gonna lose some just not that many yeah and and we absolutely appreciate and love the support that we get it's uh sometimes it's uh it's the support that we get that sometimes keeps us going because i know both of us have our days where we uh it's like, man, why are we doing this? And then, and then you get that, you get that pick me up message from somebody who just has just such encouraging words. And, and it's like, it just fuels you back up again. Yeah. So, um, so this was by no means meant to be negative before we uh, have the guys on, they were an absolute blast. Um, I guess I just want to say too, that it's made us refocus what we're doing mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, we decided to do the road to a thousand and that's just going to be on the back burner. Whenever it happens, happens. Yeah. We're going to have fun. We're going to re revamp the show a little bit and, and get back to what it was intended to be, which was yeah. meeting other collectors, having a blast doing it. Yeah. We, we lost focus of, of, of the fun that we have. And we, we set a goal that became too. That's the wrong thing for you. It was almost, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was almost like the, my precious, you know, we became yeah. so, so focused on the thousand sub thing that, uh, we lost track of having fun with what we do and we keep on like mind brainstorming. How do we get to a thousand subs rather than do what we just naturally do and let it naturally happen. So, yeah. So we're back to that. Um, I guess we're still going to dial up the guys, even though we've already done and did it, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, and should we, should we get Ed and Chuck on the line? Yeah, let's do it. Ring -a ling ding dong. <laughs> All right, we got Chuck and Ed on the line. What do you say? What do you know, fellas? Oh, see, I didn't even know that. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? What do you know? <laughs> you got me with that. I've been waiting all the last few days to be saying that. I'm like, man, I'm gonna totally say that. I'm stealing that tagline. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know, video. Yeah. It's, it's, how else do you, you know, welcome a group of people? You know, say, yeah. what, do you say, what do you know? Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> What's going on, fellas? How you doing? Oh, we're doing we're really doing good. awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. We're glad to have you on. Um, you guys are in uh, slightly nicer uh, climates than we are, so you know we're rocking the thirty degrees today, and you guys are slightly warmer. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, eighties, seventies for Ed, eighties for me. But uh, uh, yeah, roughing it, huh? <laughs> yeah, summer, winter, fall weather. <laughs> well thanks guys for coming on and uh and um we appreciate you guys joining us and uh, i think we'll start out like we we usually do and why don't you talk a little bit about your collecting history and uh, and get us all the way up to speed to uh, the decision to start the channel 
Yeah, sure. Um, I, I guess I'll start. I think I've been collecting, you know, sports cards uh, a little bit longer. Uh, you know, uh, I grew up in uh, in Chicago and a uh, big Cubs fan. Uh, baseball was the first love. Uh, card shop opened, I think, maybe two blocks from the house. So it, it, it was on from there. <laughs> um, but uh, it, it was fun. You know, it was a fun thing growing up. Uh, ran away and joined the circus. Uh, I, I mean, the Navy. Uh, when I was, uh, <laughs> when, I was uh, when I was 17 and, uh, I'm so, still you know, <laughs> yeah, and Ed's still in the circus. That's where we met. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Well, so, thank you uh, how long ago was that? Tw- uh, uh, almost 26 now. 26 years ago. Yeah. So I wow. met this joker, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, so, you know, you kind of get away from the card collecting a little bit when you're, you know, in a service, but, uh, then got out, uh, you know, met my wife and, you know, I started uh, having a little more disposable income and kind of started steered toward football cards uh, at about 2000. So, oh, uh, so it was, a, it was a shift because, you know, I, I was one of those, I guess, lost souls in uh, the steroid era of baseball, you know, kind of, kind of turned me off a little bit. And, and football was always, you know, the roughneck sport anyway. So, if guys were on stuff, which, you know, they were, you know, <laughs> but it, it, it was, it was kind of a more of a, a level playing field. And I don't know. So I just kind of steered toward football and, uh, been doing that now since, uh, like I said, about 2000 collecting, oh, wow. uh, okay. mainly football cards. So yeah. Been, and then been crazy. Yeah. So, and then, uh, you know, just to kind of top off that. So Chuck's been trying to get me into it for, I don't know, several years now, right? So I, I didn't collect football cards up until 2019, right? So, uh, oh wow, you know, I collected comics when I was a kid. You know, my 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 dad collects Hot Wheels and NASCAR, and so there's there's been a lot of collecting in my family. But I didn't start getting football cards till 2019. Me and Chuck were playing Madden. We used to play Madden every day last year in 2019. I'd spend money on these electronic packs of football cards, and Chuck was like, "Dude, spend money on real cards that you actually have." <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I was like, I was like, oh yeah, all right, all right. And then so my son started. My son collects Pokemon, right? Because he's young, he's fourteen, and and so he's been collecting Pokemon for many years. And uh, he's like, oh, and I started to get him and trying to make him a Bears fan, right? So, <laughs> and so uh, and so he's like, oh, let's get some football cards. And so Chuck and his kids were over, and we were opening boxes of cards. And then that, you know, in, in so we picked some up at Walmart. I think one time we went to the card shop, got a hobby box, and we ripped it open. And it kind of steamrolled from there. Chuck, Chuck and the family went back to Arizona a few months later. We're, we're ripping boxes on FaceTime, right? And uh, me and Chuck get on FaceTime, and, and we are got the camera pointed at the box. And, and uh, you know, we're going at it, right, ripping them. And we might have split them, bought two boxes. He bought two boxes. I paid for one of them, but he's ripping them both. And we're yep. talking through. And so my wife, you know, who has who – has, no desire for anything of sports whatsoever, right? She's like, oh, no, when you guys do that, you need to bring it down to the living room so everybody can see it. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, you guys are entertaining, hilarious, right? And I'm like, great. And we're not thinking anything of it because it's just us, right? So us, like we've always been. So, uh, so yeah, it kind of bleeds into that, but started started really collecting the cards then, and then, uh, you know, that kind of led us to, she's like, and then, you know, the next time or two times later, she's like, you guys really need to record that. So by that time, we're watching YouTubers do it all the time. And we're like, well, heck, man, maybe we could do that, right? So, uh, and then we made the decision to to really invest, right? Because I'm like, well, if you're going to do it, you can't half step. You got to, and you got to be willing to to kind of take the long road and understand it's not going to happen overnight, right? Uh, we watched a lot of YouTube folks who, who told the truth and said, you know, don't expect immediate success. And so, right. Uh, and so that's kind of where we got started, right? Uh, then, you know, from there, it was a week and a half of figuring out what our name was going to be and, and all that <laughs> good stuff, right? And so uh, Chuck was so I mean, we'll kind of lead right into that, I guess. So the, it's this, the silver sport came from the silver hair, right? So, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, in my last command, some of the guys called me Silver Fox, right? Because of the hair. Oh, and so, yeah. so oh. we, were try- we were trying to find something that had a, a open Twitter, open IG, open, you know. Uh, yeah, because you got to cover it. Every social media, you know, yep. and keep yeah. it the same. And then, what was your take on the silver there, there, Chuck? There was something else. Right? Oh yeah, I, I, I was like, you know, I'm good with second place. You know, we <laughs> we could we could be good at what we do. You know, yeah. we don't have to be the best. We could be pretty good. So silver's not bad. You know, yeah. I'll take. It. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> so you guys met in the military how many years ago? 
uh, uh, 26. It would have been March of 1995. Yep. Okay. And you guys served together then for a little while then? And yeah. Yeah. Five yeah, yeah. We went through, uh, we went through uh, basic training uh, up there uh, at the same time. And then our first uh, initial school uh, outside of basic training. And, and I'm, you know, uh, I'm from, you know, Chicago originally. And so is Ed up until he was about, you know, a little younger than me. So it was nice because we were at Great Lakes uh, Naval Training Center, and that's where our first kind of uh, initial schools were after boot camp. So uh, I would I would go home on the weekends because it was what what was it Ed like a forty five minute drive back down wow. to the house. Oh, so wow. um, he was like, uh, it's actually if you got an extra minute, it's it's pretty funny. Uh, I didn't know him, you know, in, in boot camp or whatever. We were we were staying in the same barracks, and I got a knock on the door one day. And he opens the door and he says, you know, hey, are, you know, are, are you, you know, he says my last name. And I said, yeah. And then he says my first name. I said, yeah. And he holds up a letter and he's like, uh, you went to high school with my cousin. <laughs> and so, well, like His cousin wrote him a letter, you know, just saying, hey, I know there's a million people in the Navy, but uh, this guy from my high school just left and went to join the Navy. Maybe, maybe, you know, him. and I was like two doors down from the guy. Oh, the head of barracks. <laughs> so... <laughs> So it worked out pretty good. It was kind of it was kind of funny. Yeah. Kismet, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> that is a neat story, man. Yeah, wow. it's, uh, it's been a blast. Yeah, so you guys just you guys just hit it off from right then and there, huh? Uh, yeah, I yeah think pretty we've been, much. We've been pretty thick since then. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I I, th- I think it helped. Like I said, that uh, you know I, I was from forty five minutes south, so you know, being 18 year old idiots, you know, it's like, uh, Hey, uh, you know, I know all these people 45 minutes away. You want to jump in the car and hang out at my house and go to these parties and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Who's going to say no to that when, you know, cause at the time you were from what you were from Denver. So yeah. couldn't just jump in the car and go see the friends in Denver. Right. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it, it was, it was pretty fun. We took it a couple bears games, you know, and, uh, 20, 26 years later yeah. on the YouTube yeah <laughs> how fun is that still acting like we're 18 yeah. <laughs> I will no, say- that, that's definitely like watching your videos i i it was until like until i caught one of you guys' reflections in the in the computer screen or something and i always assumed you guys were a couple of kids a, a lot younger than me and kev and i'm like these dudes are as old as we are at least <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, and, and, yeah, right. And I, but I think that's, I think that's why, you know, we, me and Ed have, have hit it off just because we're, we're both just idiots. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's really enjoyable to watch you guys. And, and we'll give you a pass on being Bears fans, but at least you're not Packers fans. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 There's no reason. There's no place in this world for those kind of people. Who, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we can pause on our, on our hatred of the Packers. Right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we'll find middle yeah. ground. So we kind of feel like the Lions are like just like a little baby brother, and they don't bother so much. Is that how it is for you guys? Yeah, nobody yeah. really cares about the Lions, right? <laughs> exactly. We we we, all, we always say whenever we're watching the, the Bears and Lions game because you know we get on the speakerphone just to yell at each other while we're watching the game. And whenever we're watching the Lions game, Ed always calms me down by saying, "Just relax. They're going to Detroit themselves sooner or later." <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> And if they actually if they actually do win every once in a while, you're like, well, they're due for a win or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. Good, but when good the Lions Packers win, and it's like these sons of they always win just one time, just stop it. <laughs> I can see it now. This is gonna be our thumbs down video. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I'll dust you guys. <laughs> Well, I don't think anybody gets more calls than uh, than a Packers quarterback. I mean, I've been watching Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers get calls for years. You know? Yeah, they'll, they'll sidestep somebody and slip on a piece of turf, and they're like, "Oh, flag!" <laughs> I got I got to be honest. I'm just jealous of the fact that they've only had two quarterbacks since I've been. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's something to that. Yeah, what thirty since Jim McMahon? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, 
even he wasn't there that long. What four years, something yeah, like that. It's the last one you can remember that did anything. Right, so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Too funny. The Vikings have uh, since I've been watching. I never got to see Fran play, and uh, Tommy Kramer's was at the end of his career when I s- first started. But you know, we get Warren Moon for a couple of years, Randall McCun. Cunningham for a year or two, Brett Favre for a couple. It's always the only good quarterbacks we seem to ever have are are guys that are at the end of their careers, and then then yeah. a bunch of yeah. Other. I thought you guys were I thought you guys were going to do really good with Culpepper, right? I thought he was the answer. Yeah, for a while. yeah, yep, yep. Culpepper. I actually uh, made the bold statement one time that I thought Culpepper and Randy Moss were going to set all the records together, and and that didn't. Uh, it, almost as soon as I said it, uh, it was over. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, it, it, it's it, it it's a rite of passage, though. I think to be a fan of a of a struggling fran not a, not a struggling franchise, because you know we got our ups and downs, you know. But mm-hmm. you, you look at these kids who have been paid, you know, these 19 year old kids who are Patriot fans, and it's like all they know, all they know is winning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh how could you be how could you be a vikings fan how could you be a bears fan uh <laughs> you know, you'll, 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 you'll get there and i'm glad they're getting a little taste of medicine starting this year too <laughs> right, right, right. sorry i'm just i'm just full of <laughs> <laughs> you can't really enjoy a win until you've endured the loss right exactly exactly, exactly. Oh, that's yeah. funny so a little bit about your channel let's uh let's dive into it a little bit and uh why don't you tell people you know what you like what you guys like to open and and um if you guys have a favorite product that you've opened so far and you know i like to i like to rib you guys a little bit in your in the comments and tell you that you guys give us good ideas for our box battles but i really do enjoy and i do rip some i don't want you to take that the wrong way but yeah, yeah, yeah. you guys a little bit because i think you guys obviously can take it yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. Was definitely ed, ed, ed this is all you i mean yeah yeah so i mean it's uh you know i mean so so we're, we're, we're primarily hobby boxes uh we didn't really start that way but i'm like uh i guess um I'm a bit of a gambler and I want, I want the big win. Right. So, uh, you know what I mean? So if I'm going to, I want to pull some, now we haven't, uh, we've pulled, we've had some good, nice pulls. Right. But, uh, but then it, you, when you tie it to the YouTube channel, so we were doing the hobby boxes before the YouTube channel. Uh, but then once we started the YouTube channel, I mean, that's what I want to watch, right. I want to watch the hobby or the, the hobby boxes cause they're going to pull the fire. Right. Most yeah. times the reality is you probably get better money back on retail, right? I think you guys said that previously, right? Um, yeah, I think yeah. that, that's probably reality, but it's not as fun, right? So, no, no. And the hits are a lot buying, in between. Only if you're buying retail at retail prices, not flipper prices. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Yes, exactly. And that's hard to do. Uh, we, that is very hard to do for both of us in San Diego and Arizona, for, for that matter. So, I have yeah, – no, that's, that, that, that's everywhere, and – and, and yeah, that's, that's really, uh, just to kind of double back, you know, when I was trying to pull Ed into the hobby, um, you know, my, my, my kids never really got into card collecting, you know, they're 17 and 14 now, but, uh, we, you know, when we go to target, we grab a box cause it was there, you know, it was like, oh, Hey, yeah. a football card box. And so then we'd sit around and open it and everything. And then it was, uh, it was a nice, it was a special treat to go down to the card shop and get a hobby box for $135 or, you know, <laughs> right. You know, or one hundred and ten dollars. That was the expensive box. Yeah. You know? Well, and you splurged that time. Huh? Exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and now, this past year, and you know, last year, uh, when I was kind of dragging Ed into this with us, you know, you, you start seeing, you know, a hobby box because, because to be honest, uh, I, I kind of drug Ed along by saying, "Hey, uh, let's just split this box. You know, it, it's it's two hundred bucks. You throw in a hundred. I'll throw in a hundred. You know, we, we, you know, we set up a randomize, you know, we used the randomizer to split up the cards when we were done. You know, this is before we were doing anything on the YouTube, just, sure. just to, to make it fun. Right. And that's yeah. kind of what got the family at least interested. And, uh, for me is cause I just didn't want to pay $200 for a box of football cards. <laughs> 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 but, uh, uh, I, you know, I, I hate to, you know, you, you look at that wall of boxes behind Ed right now and it's like, geez, man, I, I, I'm sorry. Cause you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the bug bite bad. Yeah, yeah. Well, who, know, who knows my personality well enough that he knew once I sunk my teeth in, it was all down <laughs> from there. Right. right. So, 
right. so now I'm hooked and it's, it's bad news. Right. So <laughs> I, I think what helps us both is, um, uh, Ed, Ed, Ed is also kind of real analytical, you know, like he'll, he'll, he'll break down the price of a box and, you know, well, what are, what are, what are my odds that I'm going to get something good here? Me, I don't care. I, I, I like it. I, I've said it on our channel a lot of times. I, I'm still like a set builder. You know, yeah. that, that's mainly my collection. Um, unfortunately, with these high end products and these six, seven, eight and up hundred dollar boxes of, of, of cards, you can't re- you can't build a set like you used to collect in cards. So yeah. that's why I still kind of look at like uh, like this year, the legacy and the Donruss, you know, you get a you get a nice stack of packs in a box. It's only you know, it's it's well, Donruss is now now over 200. But it's still, yeah, people realize it's still possible. They're really cool. <laughs> yeah, you know, but it's still possible to you know to build the set and you know have a checklist and everything. And you know, I'm kind of a nerd with that kind of stuff. But Ed Ed's looking for that big bang. I mean, he said, you know, he's he's chasing that brass ring, boy. He got he gonna pull it one of these days. <laughs> so you know, we got you know, so we got a little bit of mix of of, of product, and I think that helps the channel too. Um, oh, for sure. Um, so Ed must do the little screen in the beginning where it says the odds and uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I I'm kind of like on Chuck's end. I don't I don't pay much attention to that, but I'm like Ed has me like, oh, I really should see what the odds are on that. <laughs> yeah, it was just kind of one of those things where a lot of uh, guys do, and we started in the beginning. I think you know you do the box review, saying what's in it at the beginning. So I uh, and you know a lot of people drop off early right? Because they're trying to skip right to the cards. So I try yeah. to give people a snapshot. Hey, here, take a look at it, right? And we'll spend a little less time looking at the outside of the box. Um, yeah. If people if people like it or don't like it, it's it's one of those things, right? But uh, yeah, and they could push pause real quick if they wanted to read that. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, definitely the thing that I think that uh, um, rippers on YouTube provide is a service for people. Like, if you watch enough of a, a product being open, you'll be like, Dang, I don't think I want to open that product. No one's that, no one's getting anything good in that. Right, right, and that's kind of some of the discussions that Chuck and I have before we we, we get boxes. It's like, oh well, you know, you know, sometimes the lower end boxes get a little more views, and we're doing different levels of subscription boxes because there's different levels of, of entry into those boxes, right? That people want to see. They want to see all of, it. and so there's different people who want to see different levels of box. Everybody wants to see the thousand dollar box oh, yeah. that comes out of it, right? But most right. people aren't going to buy that themselves. So, um, right. you know, so, you know, and you asked about like the favorite products that we've ripped, right? Uh, so I think, I mean, so far this year, I think like the lower end, I really liked uh, certified because I felt like, again, they're all too expensive, but I felt like in the, in the lower price range of hobby boxes, the hits were there. There was, there seemed to be some juice there, right? Yeah. Uh, for, for, compared to some of the other boxes, uh, you know, you were going to get an RPA, you know, that's always good. So, um, and then I think the higher end now, the Spectra, we've, we've pulled, uh, we've ripped two boxes of those, right. One's coming out here, here later on, but, uh, and, and they're, those cards are beautiful. Like we were talking, I like them better than flawless or national treasures right now. They're up there in that price range too, but, but they're really sharp cards. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that that's that's the thing too. I mean, they're, they they really everything pops. The colors right, uh, the thickness of the card. You know, it it makes it feel like you got something in your hand. You know, and not just an old piece of cardboard. But again, uh, what do you get? Fourteen cards for for seven hundred bucks in that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, I just about threw up in my mouth. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me and Capper. Yeah. Uh, we were discussing our next uh, build a box challenge. And if no one wants to take us up on it, we'll just challenge each other. But we're like, Spectra's come out, Origins has come out. We both love Spectra. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I so we did pretty good at Origins, too. Yeah. If we were going to do 20% of a box, we'd have a $140 budget on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You could, you, could do, you could do some damage there. Yeah. yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we, I, I know Chuck and I talked about it. We'll, de- we'll definitely want to join in that at, at some point, right? We just got to make sure, I don't know what the timeline looks like. We can probably talk about that in the future, but I think, uh, I'm interested yeah, in doing it just cause I think it's another side of, of the hobby that we can show on our channels too, right? Just like you guys yeah. do and, and say, Hey, this yeah. is, you know, normally we paid 700 bucks for this box. Now we joined up with these guys and look what we built for, you know, yeah. yeah. 
or whatever. Yeah. Can open your seven hundred dollar box, <laughs> and we could see if we can beat you with our one hundred and forty dollar build a box. <laughs> yeah, we could do that too. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Joey Burrow Auto or something. Yeah, yeah. You like throwing our cards down. You won. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got your brass ring or whatever you were yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and that, and that's what I'm saying though. That that that's what I, you know, about the hobby. There there's so many ways to individualize the hobby to to you. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you know. I know some of these guys are doing. You know, they bring in. They brought in like fantasy football. You know, to to the hobby with the packs. You know, you guys with the build a box. The the guys like us who just you know open them up just to see and show what's in it. You know, and then you know set collectors or yep, rainbow set. chasers or you know yeah. And, and that's the beauty of it. And and, and I think that's why you know um, that's why we, we we've we've given away you know a couple things that kind of uh, landmark subscribers and 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 like I said, Ed mentioned uh, twelve days of Christmas thing we're doing. Um, cause that's what I started, uh, cause I had 20 plus years of football cards, you know, stashed in every room in the house. And so then when, <laughs> when, when Ed got on board with it, he's like, you hey, dude, you got to do something with that stuff. So I was like, okay. And so, you know, we started, I put together just kind of team bags, about 15, 20 cards from, you know, various years, basically from 2000 through today. And I just, you know, we're, we're trying to figure out a way how to just like get them into the young collector's hands. Cause you know, if, if, if back in you know, when I, when I, when I was nine, nine to 12 years old, if somebody handed me, uh, uh some baseball cards from the fifties and sixties, I'd be like, that's friggin' cool. You know, yeah. uh, you know, so, you know, I kind of get the history going. And again, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to that stuff. And yeah, so, you know, we really thought that would be a good way to start, you know, at least, you know, getting, you know, the younger collectors involved, but then, you know, with the Twitter and all that stuff, you don't know who the heck you're talking to. And then, every, then people want to complain, hey, uh, I only got 19 cards in this pack that I sent you for free. And, you know, and yeah. when we first started doing it, you know, we didn't, I, I didn't know the difference between PWE and BWMT or whatever. So I, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm sending, you know, free team packs, 20 cards in this with the, you know, the printed out tracking. And it's costing me, you know, four and a half bucks to send, you know, free 20 cards to somebody and then they want to say oh you shorted me a card yeah <laughs> Isn't that that's but, the frustrating part about it uh for sure yeah. I, I don't like i contemplated doing some selling and i'm like i don't want to deal with it the, the <laughs> i really right? don't want to. Yeah. So there's definitely a little bit about that but because i'm new to the hobby i guess and i think we're both new to the online version yeah. of the hobby right that has taken kind of well i don't know it's probably been there long before us but it's new to us you know, where it's everywhere. It's on Twitter, it's on Facebook, it's on IG, it's on YouTube, all over the place. Um, but we've, there is a lot of very cool people in the hobby. Oh, um, yeah. And, and so that's kind of one of the things we picked up on early, even with our tiny channel. Like, uh, you know, guys like Hossa Cards subscribed to us. I think we had 30 or 40 subscribers. And he started leaving nice comments and kind of like that little motivational piece. Uh, no requirement whatsoever, no need to do it, just support. Yeah. Right. And so yeah. I, I, that was the coolest thing ever. Right. And so I tried to start to look for guys like that and like, well, how do we model after that? Cause that's the right way to be. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, and so that's kind of what we try to do. Right. Like, uh, it's, I'm, we're not here trying to make money cause we ain't making any, I can tell you that <laughs> <laughs> we're losing it by the, by the boatload, but it's having a ton of fun. Right. So <laughs> I was yeah. just kind of looking at my stack of receipts, you know, I always put them, uh, in my car of stuff we've mailed out and I'm just like, man, I don't even want to, I don't even want to total it up. You know, you know what it is. Like when you're shipping stuff out, you're like, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. After they was rip and ship, I'm like, man, our giveaways, we probably should rip and then ship it because you can get smaller containers, smaller package. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that, and that was one of the things that, that Ed, that Ed said, when we, cause when we were going to do the giveaway, it's like, well, you know, just put that box in, you know, a, a, a prepaid mailbox, whatever. And it's like, Man, that's that's eight and a half bucks or whatever just to do this, you know. Mm -hmm. he's, he's like, Can we just you know open the cards, show them on the YouTube channel, and then put them in an envelope? I was <laughs> like, yeah, why not? You know, <laughs> I'm sure people won't mind. They're still going to get it. Yeah, yeah so, not, no, that way nobody's flipping it and making money off of it either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, too funny. Um, I had somewhere I was going to go with that about the kids. Oh, um, you had mentioned about getting kids involved. And, you know, we had a car tour recently and we were up there and everybody at the tables, all these guys were like, yeah, I, I put these really 
cheap cards out or, or I might just give a card to a kid, you know, just trying to keep the interest. And I'm like, it kind of sparked me and I bought a kid a card and, uh, it was like eight or 10 bucks or whatever. And he was like, thank you so much. He was so excited. And, and next thing you know, all the little, all the kids, you <laughs> with there, hovering around <laughs> a little bit, and, you know, you try to do something nice. And all of a sudden I had like a sick feeling. I'm like, what if he goes up and tells his parents that, hey, something's on the car. <laughs> and I'm like, at that, so I'm like, oh my gosh. You Some know, creepy old dude bought me a football card. <laughs> I'm, wearing, I'm wearing our, I might have been even wearing the Skull Brothers shirt or the sports car talk show. And I'm like, no, it's really, we, it's just a nice thing to do. And I felt, I'm like, oh, I just want to take that back. And I didn't really want to, but it's like, what if something comes of that? Oh, that's a sick feeling. Just try to do something nice for a kid. And we yeah. were excited. Thank you so much, sir. And oh, it was awesome. And yeah, yeah you know, and, and, and that's what Ed brought up too. When I first, when I first said, yeah, you know, let, you know, uh, let's do this. And I'm like, well, what do I do? Hey kids, want some free football cards? Eh, well, maybe not. You know? <laughs> You're the guy in the van. With the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. oh man. I mean, we've had a couple of those uh, uh, during our giveaways. We've had a couple of younger collectors. You know, I think one's a high school football player. We, we had a couple that have been with us since we were real small, right? Under 50 subscribers. And so we know them, right? Because they comment and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, you know, one of them won, I think, during our 100 subscriber giveaway or something. And, yeah. uh, you know, the, the, the response to that when they get their hands on some cards that they can't even get, you know what I mean? Uh, and they're like, oh, I appreciate it so much. It's, these are now the best cards in my collection type of thing. Uh, yeah. and it, it really makes you feel like, oh, that was cool, right? So uh, mm. it, it makes it that much more enjoyable to be on both sides, right? So For sure, for sure. So I noticed um, just jumping all over the place because I just thought about it looking at the boxes behind you. You started the subscription boxes too. Um, have you guys done any repacks like where – you know what I'm saying when I say a repack where Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we, we did the, So we did. We did uh three of the Dave and Adams uh repacks, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not talking about your super high dollar repacks. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, when, <laughs> yeah I about fell over. I'm like, well <laughs> Oh yeah, as far as the smaller guys like on Twitter and, and yeah, uh Instagram Facebook and, stuff. and Instagram and all that. So yeah. that stuff scares me, right? I see all those dudes like when I roll, roll through there and I'm like it, I just don't know what's going on there, right? Like, uh, sure. it, it feels like it's a little sketchy. I'm like, uh, I don't know how to do this, right? So I'll just stay away from it. So oh, okay, I, it's kind of what I stay with the reputable places, right? Uh, I hear a lot of people on Twitter and all that complaining about getting screwed over, somebody shipping them stuff or not getting what they paid for and all that. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to kind of steer clear of that for now, right? So I I'm smarter that. about it. I don't know. Wow. I mean, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I, uh, my pocketbook hurts when I watch you open your stuff. Let me tell you that. Uh, <laughs> I get it. I get it. Uh, mine does too, right? So, <laughs> but I, 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 we, you know, it, it's 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 really fun to watch, and, and you know, obviously, you hit some decent cards and and all that fun stuff. But wow, yeah, well, we do. I do. Have I, to know. Go ahead. Oh, I was just, I just want to piggyback on that. That's why, you know, Ed, what, you know, all his subscription boxes that he gets, you know, he, 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 he gets the top tier because of course yeah. that's your, you know, your best odds and everything. Yeah. And like Ed said earlier, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's just not possible. And I mean, he, like even for me, so that's why starting this month, uh, I, I kind of got the, uh, the, the, the mid range from kind of the, the, you know, boom box guys and stuff oh, like that. Sure. Uh, so we're going to put out a series of videos just, you know, so not the $140 box, but the, the I think it was $90. Yeah. Uh, we went across the board with three or four different guys with just to, so we can show then, you know, what you get in that because yep. we, we did get comments. It's like, Oh, that, you know, like that, 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 that subscription box looks pretty cool, but you know, I, I'm not paying $150 for, you know, unknown pack, uh, unknown packs, you know, do you guys know what's in the, the lower end boxes? No, we don't. You know, so <laughs> yeah. Well, let's find out. You know, let's find out together. Why not? So <laughs> you know, with the the subscription packs that you guys are talking about, I mean, it's it's all just a chance, really. I mean, yeah. I've watched. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of Twin Z Troubles, um, but he did a. I want to say Brothers and Cards, the the silver or whatever, whatever the, the lower one in. Yeah. Is. And um, he hit a Zion Kobe Auto. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> it was and it was almost all hoops packs and you know and, yeah, and everybody complains about it i'm like you complaining now <laughs> yeah, yeah right and uh yeah you can look at what that sold for recently it was a lot more than 60 dollars <laughs> oh yeah yeah no doubt oh, yeah, yeah. So we're kind of discussing back to the to the to the hobby boxes right and the amount of money spent so i mean we, chuck and i have that discussion too so i i I sell a lot of the cards. Obviously, I don't sell any Bears cards, right? But uh, well, of course, uh, I've I got quite a few that I try to keep. Right, I got some, uh, you know, a Mahomes and a Kyler Murray rookie, and kind of, you know, I try, I try to. Some of them I just can't let go of, right? Even though they're worth right. uh, the money, but I, I, I do flip quite a bit of them on on eBay. Uh, just to try and fund the next video, the next box, and oh, for sure. And so yeah. you know, it's, it sometimes kind of hurts to let some of those go, right? But uh, yeah. it's, it's a necessary I, evil. I guess it's good you said that too, because um, I, I would assume that that's what's happening. Because yeah. I, I mean, I know what goes into it. Like I just, we've gotten a little bit lucky with some retail recently, and you know, maybe what one of those boxes cost was what the retail got. And I'm just like, yeah, we're going to sell some of this stuff. Cause I'm not, I'm not opening all that. We're yeah. Not. And, and actually that that's where Ed helped me. Cause I mean, that's why I got football cards in every room in my house because I, 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 I can't let them go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have no idea how hard it was for me to convince Chuck to sell his first card. <laughs> so Lauren is a lot like Chuck. Man. He's a well, hardcore Vikings fan, which I'm not, I'm not trying to speak for him, but I'll just I'll just speak for him. <laughs> he actually doesn't have a lot in his house, but that's because he has a storage unit for it. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. See? Maybe that's what I should have just done instead, right? <laughs> <laughs> last fall we went to a card show and i talked him into setting up a table and we actually have pictures of his first card that i've ever seen him sell you know we played it up pretty good and put it on instagram i can't believe i saw the first card he sold that yeah, was it was that the delvin was, the it was delvin a delvin. Yeah. even a delvin cookie let go i couldn't believe it auto delvin cook optic optic uh autograph yeah contenders oh, i know it hurt him i know oh, it hurt him. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm the same way. It's like you know, like in this year's draft class, right? Uh, my, my 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 youngest plays uh, football. He's played since he was five years old. He's he's a freshman now this year. Um, he he kind of he kind of targeted in on Isaiah Simmons and Jerry Judy oh. as, in this year's draft class because you know you because you know well Clemson's been doing good and so he was watching Clemson and Alabama's Alabama. Sure. So you know I. I I pulled what 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 one of them was a a, a one of ten Jerry Judy in and, and right away Ed was like uh, oh you can get you know you can get two hundred bucks back for that box right now get it up on eBay and let it go and I was like you know but <laughs> that's that's one of the two oh, and Chase Young Chase Young was the third that my that my kid oh. focused in on so I wanted to keep you know if I pulled any one of those guys I wanted to keep at least one of this year you know so and I did we got the Isaiah Simmons auto and a. Uh, the Jerry Judy, and then uh, Ed was so kind enough to sell me one of the five or six Chase Young autographs that he's pulled. <laughs> so, you know, so now I got one of those. <laughs> but, but I think that's what I learned because, like Ed said, you know, you got to fund. You know, if we want to keep doing this and having this fun, you know, the money's got to come from somewhere. So, right. you know, that that that's that that was kind of my realization. Okay, you know, I, I guess I could sell a couple of these. I don't have to keep every box to get the next box, you know, to buy. And and I, it made sense in my head at the time. Saying it out loud now, I still don't agree with it. But <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, it's uh, well, Lauren could definitely move half of his Vikings and not realize that half of it's gone. And <laughs> and I have boxes. I like, like style, Lauren. I like style. I mean, it's coming yeah. to the, it's coming to the point where I think I'm going to have to let some of them go. Cause you know, well, we don't even open boxes and it's expensive to do this. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. I, um, I, I always think back that I got back into collecting five years ago and I said all my collection, from my childhood in my storage unit. And I wish if I could go back in time, I would have been selling those cards before I got into it. And it's like, well, I can still start doing that now, but it's like <laughs> the train is completely off the rails. 
<laughs> we have great plans. It just never happens. Like we have boxes set aside to send for grading. I'm like, well, we could do the fast track grading. I think this one would be worth, you know, 1500 if we got a good grade on it and that could fund the next submission and they're still sitting in the box. Yeah. Yeah. So we got like a, 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 a couple of great ideas. guys. You know, execution. We, we, we fail miserably every time, but we're a couple of great idea guys. Oh <laughs> yeah. Same. Yeah. Same, thing. same thing. I know we watched that great idea, like explode, uh, you know, in the, you know, we, we were like, man, we were talking about doing this six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. I mean, but but that's uh, that that I think is the next step personally that we're that we're going to do with our collection because uh, we haven't we've never sent anything away to be graded I I never have you know and that's be prepared for you know four to eight month wait yeah um just uh, from our experience from our first uh, submission you know get yourself a, like a jeweler's loop or you know magnification and uh, we we bought the centering tool. Uh, we're we're gonna use these things because eventually we'll use them. <laughs> yeah, eventually. We'll, but we we're looking <laughs> at our, there. we were looking at our cards with our bare eyeballs, and we were like, "Oh, and this looks really good." We you know, and then but be be really hard on your grade yeah. because um, you know be real picky about your card because they're gonna be yeah. you know you know like, you're you're like, your, like, yeah. this could be a nine. You know, it might be a seven. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and that's and, and that's where I'm at. And I think that's where we were thinking, like, uh, you know, maybe doing a, a submission of just um, personal collection cards. You know, yeah. just you, you know, and then see how that goes, and you know, and and then say, okay, do we want to then start doing this with you know cards we want to try to resell to get you know to fund more boxes? I, I don't know. It just again, where the hobby's going who knows these days you know right. and it, you know, if, if we say okay well i got a hundred dollar card here now if i can send it off and get a, a nine or a ten i can get 300 for it but then it takes four to four to four to six months and then all of a sudden that hundred dollar card is now a 25 five dollar card <laughs> and you know graded yeah. at a nine is is 75 dollars. i should have taken a hundred bucks six months ago i, I don't know yeah. yeah yeah it's a fine line I, I have a couple that if I would have just sold immediately, like as I was pulling them, like I pulled that John Moran dunk card mm -hmm. for uh, Kevin Love, what he oh. missed, which he missed, by the way. He missed the dunk. Mm -hmm. Cool looking, but he missed the dunk. <laughs> yeah. uh, Took a good picture. $125 oh. raw. It's like a $25 card now. Oh. I don't know if they are graded. Now, just for fun, I know you guys do mostly football, but look up Vince Carter Olympic dunk, and you can see that John Rand dunk where somebody made it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a of that, but <laughs> they made a card of that too. Vince Carter dunking over that Frenchman. Yeah, all right, I'll have to check that whatever out. Whatever was, <laughs> whatever he was. Yeah, and right. I don't know if you guys noticed too, but. Uh, Sports cards these days that guys are, are trading them like stocks uh, yeah. daily. The, the values are fluctuating daily. Um, a couple weeks ago, I couldn't touch a Teddy Bridgewater card. Then, you know, he had a slow start to the season. His cards, all of a sudden, I'm picking up, I'm winning his cards at opening bids and stuff like that every day. And, you know, then, you know, McCaffrey gets hurt. They lean on him to be the, the, the leader of the of the offense and he has a few good weeks and now his cards are starting to be untouchable again yeah yeah i i i, I don't know I, I, again for for eddie you love it you you love that stuff you 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 love, you love <laughs> the values go up and you know buying the dip and everything else yeah buy it. <laughs> totally <laughs> yeah buy the dip man <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why people like when like when the stock market's crashing, why everybody is selling. Yeah. When it's, it's like that's when you should be buying. You know, it doesn't. Yeah. You know, people panic. Like so many people panic. Yeah, yeah. Panic is great if you want to make money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That that's what I, I that's what I always tell people. You know, um, I'm a big uh, Christmas time. It's a Wonderful Life guy, mm. and, and and I tell everybody. That that's the only financial advice I've ever heard and taken to, to heart is when uh, what's his face there is yelling. Potter's not selling. Potter's buying. 
I'm like, oh yeah, and Potter's a rich son bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. By the rumor of oh, the yeah. news, right? <laughs> Oh, well, you guys have been super generous with your time. Um, why don't we give you guys a minute or two to tell everybody where to find you guys um, on your social medias. And, and uh, if you guys have anything else you guys want to bring up, we'll give you guys a couple minutes here and then uh, we'll bring it to a close. Okay. Yeah, go for it, Eddie. Take it away, buddy. Yeah. So, I mean, our, our YouTube channel is, is uh, Silver Sport, S-L-V-R, Sport. It's all one word. Uh, and then at Twitter, we're at Silver Sport. IG, I think it's the same thing, right? Just Silver Sport. Um, and then we don't have an eBay store, right? And I just kind of sell under the name Silver Sport Collectibles, but, uh, you know, because the Silver Sport itself wasn't available. But, uh, um, yeah, that's it. I mean, I, we appreciate uh, the opportunity really from you guys. It was a, it was a great discussion. Uh, really uh, humbled that you guys invited us on. Uh, even though you're Vikings fans, you know, you're really <laughs> likable, right? So... <laughs> so uh, but yeah, I just I just wanted to thank everybody for the opportunity. Right, we're having a great time, uh, and we're we're hoping to be able to continue to do it. For sure, for sure. And um, just I'll have to find you guys on Twitter. Um, we are not under the Sports Car Talk Show because that does not fit as a handle. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll yeah. find you guys, and it's it's just like SCTS underscore Skull Bros. So <laughs> yeah. okay, all right. It'll be pretty obvious. Funny. I, I just want to, I want to reciprocate the love. It's funny doing this card show. How we, We've actually met some Packer fans that we like. We've met some Bears that. fans. Don't say that too loud. <laughs> we've met some Bears fans that, that we like, and we just can't find any Lions fans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Very well stated. That was. That was. I, uh, yeah. And then, and again, I mean, when when Ed uh, uh, told me about this, I was like, I was like, that that's awesome, you know, uh, and and that's and that's just the key, you know. Everyone, like Ed said, the real good people in the hobby do good, great things like this, you know. And it's just, it's always great to just interact with them, and and this is, was a blast. I really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, we appreciate you guys coming yeah. on. Um, we'll bring it to a close. If you guys want to hang on one second, we'll just chat for a minute after we bring it to a close here. Sure. So that'll bring episode 156 with the fellas Chuck and Ed from Silver Sport uh, to a close. Skull Brothers out. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>